Good evening, everyone. Tonight, protests across the country are underway in response to the Supreme Court overturning its landmark decision in Roe v. Wade that established the right to an abortion. With that ruling, that marks a seismic shift in abortion law. This will usher in new rules limiting or banning access to the procedure in half of the states and some places immediately. As you can imagine, we are seeing quite the response from people in almost every major city tonight, some in celebration, others and outrage. Those are Columbus, Houston, Indianapolis, Philadelphia, Los Angeles, Sacramento, San Francisco, Denver, Phoenix, and of course Capitol Hill. And those protests happened right here in our own backyard as well. Today, a protest at Rochester City Hall with hundreds vocalizing their disappointment in the right to choose no longer being a constitutional right. Alex Love joins us now live from where that protest took place earlier today. Alex, what was their messaging? Well, Amel, simple, to simply put it, they made sure their message will not be forgotten after the weekend. All along the sidewalk down by my feet, you can see a lot of demonstrators left pro access to abortion messages. One simply reads, my body, my choice. Another one right next to that emphasizes this is about women's rights. All to make sure that when city officials come back to City Hall on Monday, they understand that the public does not want them to tolerate any restrictions to abortion at the local level. More than 100 people lined the street, leading chants and listening to speakers about what they as New Yorkers can do to support those in states where abortion is about to be more restricted. I feel scared. I, I mean, I'm in New York and that's good, but I don't know where I could be a couple years from now. I'm going to go to school and things and I um, know people around the country. We're also going to be having a lot of women coming from other states to, to get those services that are also going to backlog here. And in some cases, they're already backlogged for a lot of women here. So if that happens, then, you know, it, it's going to be a loss for everybody. Many have gone through the justices concurring opinions and fear rulings like these will not stop with abortion access. Like those with Clarence Thomas writing about efforts to overturn other rulings for gay marriage and access to birth control, prompting them to turn out more. The theme of the rally was bans off our bodies. Planned Parenthood CEO Michelle Casey also took a turn giving a speech, stressing this ruling can impact all Americans if those who give birth no longer control when they're ready to carry out a pregnancy. Again, uh, again, even with this ruling, the current abortion laws in New York still allow any patient to get access to abortion up until 24 weeks into the pregnancy for any reason. Afterwards, there are still exceptions if the patient's life becomes at risk because of the pregnancy. Live in Rochester, Alex Love, News 8. Thank you, Alex. To push back against the decision, some companies are pledging to cover expenses related to abortion access for their employees. Some of those companies include Disney, Meta, and American Express.